Hey there, Fletcher from All Things Overlanding here, and today I am super excited because I'm finally doing a comparison between my good old Coleman Fold and Go and the Jet Boil Genesis. This thing is kind of the king of the castle, if you will. Uh, people talk about the Jet Boil all the time. I have a few friends with them. They're really nice units. So again, today I'm going to kind of show you guys the difference between these two because again, previously I did a review of the Coleman, and I've had it for a couple of years now, and I really like it, but the Jet Boil has some nice features as well. So I'm gonna kind of walk you through the both of them. I'm gonna show you the pros and cons of each one. I'm gonna put links in the description down below to both of them so that you can pick the one that works best for you. But again, depending on your budget and how much you like to cook, the Jet Boil Genesis is just really nice. So now that I've sort of tipped my hat a little bit to which one I like better, let's get into the comparison video between the Coleman Fold and Go and the Jet Boil Genesis. All right, guys, so let's start with form factor. So obviously, in looking at the two, the Coleman is significantly bigger than the Jet Boil. Now, part of that, you know, you may say is, hey, it's way cheaper, it's less expensive. Um, that's kind of been my argument in the past too, and I would agree with you on that, right? Like it is, it's like a $60 to $80 stove. Whereas the Jet Boil ranges from, I believe, and I'll correct myself on the screen here if I'm wrong, but about 300 to 500, depending on the setup that you get. I did get the Base Camp Edition, which has the bag that comes with it. It also comes with a really nice 10 inch fry pan and then a five liter pot, which is down in there. And all that stuff fits in that bag. So there's a lot more design and ingenuity that goes into the Jet Boil than the Coleman. And again, for what it is, it works fine. So again, if you're not a big cooker, if you are just looking to occasionally make some stuff on a grill, the Coleman may be a good option. But honestly, the Jet Boil blows it out of the water on almost every front, and I'm gonna show you why. So now opening the Jet Boil here for comparison, that size difference definitely shows itself in the folded out size. But the thing about the jet boil that's really cool is it will still take the same size pots and pans, if not bigger. I mean, here's this 10 inch pan that comes with it. And then you set it on the Coleman and it fits just fine on there too. So even though this thing is smaller, it's basically almost the same size interior wise as the Coleman. The other nice thing is if you get the full base camp edition like I've got, then the pot that comes with it is really, really nice. And it actually has fins on the bottom that are designed to spread this heat out and make it more evenly dispersed. One really nice thing about the jet boil is that the way they've designed this, as you can see, they're kind of opposite so that you actually can fold it up with the metal pieces that hold the pots and pans up without having to move them. Whereas again, on the Coleman, you know, you have to, every time these are gonna be hot when you're done cooking. So if you wanna pack up right away, you might have to wait for them to cool down because then you're gonna to have to remove these, turn them inside out, and then remount them inside of the Coleman. Whereas again, with the jet boil, you just open it up and you're ready to cook. Now the jet boil, similar to the Coleman, does have self-igniting burners, which is, again, really nice. Now the biggest difference that you're gonna see between these two units, and I'll show them in use here in a second, is the burner controls on the jet boil are out of this world. These things, I mean, you turn them and turn them and turn them, and you can literally see the flame just adjusting minusculely as you turn them. Whereas with the Coleman, they just feel a little bit tone deaf. They feel a little bit uh, hard to control. When you turn them, sometimes you'll turn it and you'll get the flame where you want it and you let go and it will bounce back. It will pull back because the the controls in them are just subpar, right? Like the, to turn these switches here, you basically just have from there to there. So from low to high, right? But I mean, just watch it when I let go here, see it move, let go and it moves back. It's like it has, it must have some sort of a spring or something in it that holds it in place. And when you set it to a position, it jumps back. So it's really hard to get the Coleman controlled to just the right temperature and the right flame that you want when cooking your food. Whereas with the Jet Boil, again, super, super easy to control. All right, so here is the coolest thing about the Jet Boil versus the Coleman. If you haven't watched the Coleman video, feel free to go watch that. But my biggest complaint about the Coleman was you basically have about this much control on the Coleman. You can turn it from low to high, and every time you let go of it, it springs back. So you have very little actual control. On the Jet Boil, you can see how low that flame is right now. 
I'm bringing it lower, lower, lower. I mean, look at how low I can get that. Same with going up, right? I mean, you have multiple turns, so you have a ton of control over this thing. So if you want to get it blazing, you totally can. I mean, look at that. But you have full control over every single aspect of the flame, which is awesome. This is literally the best part of this, this whole thing. I mean, the form factor being smaller is definitely a pro. The quality of it, definitely a pro. The fact that you don't have to remove these burners uh, from the top is really nice feature too, that just saves you a ton of time and makes things easier. But man, the control of it is so easy. The other thing is these piezo lighters are really easy to use. You basically just go like that and that's all it takes. That's the click that then makes the little lightning bolt, if you will, that ignites the flame. So it's a piece of cake to get this thing lit. So just got done cooking some burgers and hot dogs in these things. The jet boil, of course, did fantastic. Didn't even actually use the, the Coleman fold and go because I only needed a couple of pans to cook in. And uh, I did want to point out one thing though. So I've got this Stanley, which I actually really like. It's a nice little piece of gear and it folds up really small. And if you didn't have anything like this, which then folds into that base camp bag there and keeps sort of everything all in one, uh, it's not a bad thing. And I'll put a link in the description to that, but if you are looking to just get like an all-in-one cook system, this stuff that comes with the jet boil is fantastic. As you can see here, like it is totally non-stick. All the grease and stuff just is bubbled up on there. It comes right off. Whereas on this one, everything burns to it and then it's a lot harder to clean. It's just kind of a pain in the butt. So again, if you are someone that likes to cook and you want to do it more when you're out camping and stuff, I think that the Jetboil Genesis makes a ton of sense from the standpoint of just an all-in-one system that's going to fold down really small and not take up a lot of room in your kit, and then also provide you with a lot of advantages and nice quality pieces of equipment. All right guys, so that will do it for the little sort of comparison between the Jetboil Genesis and the Coleman Fold and Go. Again, as I mentioned throughout the video, there are a lot of benefits to the Jetboil. Is it more expensive? Yes, of course it is. But this is one of those situations where you've probably heard the expression, buy once, cry once. This is one of those times when I think it definitely makes sense to do something like spending a little bit more on a better piece of equipment, especially if you are someone that cooks a lot. If you're just going out to boil water and stuff, they make the little Jetboil small guy that you can just use on top of like a fuel tank. If you're just boiling water and eating freeze dried meals, then that may be a good option for you. You may not need the full Genesis, but if you're gonna go out and actually cook meals, if you're gonna have steak and mashed potatoes, if you're gonna have hamburgers, hot dogs, if you're gonna cook food, then having a good cook system, especially one that's really well made and is gonna last for a long time, and more importantly, takes up less room in your gear, then I think that the Jetboil Genesis is a great option for that. So of course, those of you that use this, I know a ton of you guys use this thing already. I know my buddy Will from Venture to Rome uses this. There are just a ton of people that I've talked to, local people around me that use it that I've seen it and been like, wow, that thing's really nice. Um, post up in the comments below and let me know your thoughts. Let me know your comments. Like what are some advantages that you've experienced in your use of the Jetboil Genesis? Um, if you have questions, post up in the comments as well. If you got value out of the video, hit that like button. If you're not already, make sure to click the subscribe button, click the bell to be notified when new videos drop. I do a couple every week, so there's always something new coming out for you guys. Um, also in the description down below will be links to all my social channels, so if you wanna follow along anywhere else, check those out. And then there is also a link to my website where I've got funny overlanding and camping patches and stickers. So if you're into funny patches, if you're looking for Velcro back stuff to add to your collection, definitely check out that link down below. And then last but not least, there are links to my Patreon group where we've got a 24 seven Discord. We do a once a month call. It's awesome. Everybody in the group's amazing. And then we also have the Newbie Overlanders Facebook group. Totally free to join, tons of awesome members in it. So if you're looking for a place to kind of ask questions and learn, that would be a good option for you. Um, but again, thanks so much for watching. And We'll see you next time.